Hey guys, it's Christina. Um, welcome. You're welcome back to my channel and welcome to this super casual video. Not too much cooking, just just trying new recipes and trying new recipes of something I love. Oatmeal. Um, I see recipes for oatmeal every day. Many times a day. And yet, I still eat the same oatmeal every week, three times a week or more. So I decided to try something new and get on some of the trends. I know I'm, I think the trends were really like a year ago, but I still see them all the time. So I think they're current enough. All right, to the oats. So the first recipe I am trying out is from Healthy Girl Kitchen and it is her brownie baked oats um i see this on my instagram reels all the time and it looks so delicious so i wanted to try it out and i was very intrigued because it had ingredients that i already had i didn't have to buy anything i will say i should have bought coconut milk and i forgot so then i used oat milk but um yeah very intrigued by this recipe it's naturally vegan so i didn't have to make any substitutions um, I just start off with some oat milk, some maple syrup, and some peanut butter and vanilla extract as my wet ingredients. And I'm actually having her recipe, so I, her recipe doesn't necessarily have a portion size from what I can remember, but to me it looked like it was basically like four servings, so I halved her recipe, so I would only have two servings. And because of that, I actually am going to end up uh, baking it in a oven proof bowl, which that's the bowl that I just ha put the oats in right now. So I just want to make note of that. So my dry ingredients are going to be the oatmeal, flaxseed, salt, set it before salt is so important for oatmeal. And then I don't remember how much cocoa powder I was supposed to use, but I had barely any cocoa powder left. So I just used everything I had left. And then I greased my oven safe, I think I called it oven proof before, I don't think that's the right term, oven safe bowl with some vegan butter, then poured in my brownie oatmeal batter, topped it with some chocolate chips, and it already looked so good. I was like, I was having a good feeling at this point. I was like, this is going to be good. There's no way in hell this can't be good. So it goes into the oven for 40 minutes, a long time, at 350 degrees. Um, not a fan of how long this took to bake. So this is what it looks like after being in the oven for 40 minutes. It looks and smells incredible. I'm salivating. Um, I'm going to let it cool because I can tell it would burn my mouth if I dug into it right now. Gonna let it cool, get some coffee together, get some fruit together, and have myself a nice breakfast very soon. So like I said, this was two servings, so I had to put half of it in another bowl, and then I served with some strawberries. So it was good, but also like for 40 minutes, I don't know guys, I, it tasted still a lot like oatmeal and the peanut butter was very strong. So our next recipe is going to be mug cake baked oats, which I would think I was the most excited for this because I love oatmeal and I love mug cakes and baked oats always did just seem like mug cakes to me. So I thought this was going to be um, a no brainer. I got this recipe from Kim's Cravings and I think my issue here was it's not a vegan recipe so I had to make some substitutions for that and then I also had to make some substitutions because I forgot to buy things. So as you can see I'm putting avocado in oatmeal which is I think the first step of where this might have gone wrong. It's supposed to be half a ripe banana. I did not have any fresh ripe bananas. Also, um, there's supposed to be egg in it, so I had to use a flax egg. I'm also, like, a little suspicious that the recipe didn't have baking powder. I almost added baking powder, but I didn't because I wanted to follow it. Um, so this is what it looks like before it goes into the oven microwave. That's the whole point. We microwave this. 
So at this point, I'm feeling pretty good because it looked exactly like hers going into the microwave. Unfortunately, when I went to check on it, there were some issues, unfortunately. Oh no. <laughs> so this was a fail. The picture shows what it should look like. Um, oh well. So my next trendy oatmeal recipe is tiramisu overnight oats. I got this recipe from Conscious Plant Kitchen. Um, I will say I didn't really follow it per se though because so the oats are a base of basically chocolate oats and like chia seeds which is how I already make my oatmeal so I had that already pre-mixed together if you watched my meal prep video you've seen this before so then the only difference was I added in about like two teaspoons of instant coffee and I mixed that in with um oat milk so I started with two and then I smelled it and I went with three I didn't actually think about like what the caffeine content of that was. So yeah, while it's supposed to taste like dessert, I would not eat it like a late night dessert. I would definitely stick to eating this in the morning. Alright, so we are at the next day. My oats had been sitting overnight. So what the recipe said to do is basically layer the oats with some vanilla dairy-free yogurt uh they actually mix it with protein powder i have no interest in doing that i think i've stated before the protein powder i currently have is gross and i didn't want it ruining my my oats so i didn't do that i picked up this wee dairy-free yogurt i had never had it before but it got really good reviews and like every like uh vegan yogurt taste test that i've watched and I have watched many because I don't like wasting money. So I got this one. Uh, nutrition wise, there's really nothing going for it. But like for a recipe like this, I think that's okay. So this was also a fail in terms of um, composition. The layers didn't really work because I was too lazy to actually do layers. I basically did one big layer of oats and then one small layer of yogurt one small layer of oats and like a dollop of yogurt after there was supposed to be room to um sift cocoa powder on top so it would actually have like a tiramisu top looking thing but um that's not how it worked out but you know what this channel is not about pretty food it's not called christina likes to make pretty food it is called Christina Likes to Cook, and I'm aware that this isn't cooking, technically, but oh well. You know what? It's pretty good. Alright, I'm aware... Wait, I'm trying. I'm aware this isn't the best lighting or the best audio, so I'm going to keep my thoughts brief. But, uh, quick summary. Brownie baked oats, I'd say... 6.5 out of 10 I think improvements would be tahini instead of peanut butter I think or almond butter I think the peanut butter flavor was a bit too strong for like brownie to me I think it needs something more subtle um and then I think I'd like maybe do it in a shallower dish or maybe I would blend the oats I was conscious to pick recipes that didn't involve me needing to blend the oats because um I just don't want to do that um but yeah it just still tasted a lot like oatmeal and less brownie so maybe I needed to let it fu fully cool instead of eating hot so my thoughts on that mug cake baked oats that was um, a 3 out of 10. Um, I mean, it was still tasty. I ate it and I enjoyed it, but like it just tasted like oatmeal. It tasted like I microwaved oatmeal. I think if I'm going to try that again, I'm going to find a recipe that's already vegan because clearly the flax egg and it wasn't doing it for me. Um, let's see. What's tiramisu overnight oats. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go 8.5 out of 10. They were so good. Um, yeah, they were, they were good as hell. That being said, I don't know if the yogurt added anything. I honestly think I might just like the instant coffee in it. Um, 
I'm going to try it with just the coffee and not the yogurt and see um, if it makes a difference. But yeah, those were good. We'll make again. Um, but yeah, if you liked this video, please like and please subscribe. Um, it would mean the world to me. Um, yeah, this is a silly video. I am going to get back more on my regular content soon. But I've been sick and I've been busy and I love oatmeal, so this seemed what I needed to do for this week. But, alright, until next time my friends.